Lesson 18. Don't worry, guys. She's just playing dead. Let's continue from where we stopped in the last class. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, once this is done, so we can start putting, uh, like the sockets, like uh, like the pins here. So first of all, the first pin that we will create is uh, basically will be a normal pin. Okay, uh, I will create a, a cylinder. Okay, click it twice. Reset orientation. Move it outwards. Okay. And pass rotate it. Change its color to this. Give it a bit of a thickness. Okay. Give a fillet to it. And once this is done, I will make a new layer. Or control and you can press also and press spacebar. Once this is done, I will reduce the size of this, uh, increase the thickness a lot, something like this. Okay, and change this color to maybe red, something like this. Okay, and move it out. So now what I will do, I will make a new layer, and Press spacebar. And now as they both are created, so I will take them, press uh, uh, D on my keyboard, mm -hmm. then move it up. So there will be a duplicate copy of it. Okay, then select these, both of them, and then D and move them here sideways. Okay, now what I need to do here is that I want to change the colors of these all. I don't want them to be red. So all of them, only this one have to be that. This one I will change it to yellow. Okay, I'll take the paintbrush here. Okay, so back also. Let's change the brush size. So just one with one stroke, it will change. Okay. Now I will do the same thing here. Double click on it. Let's change this to white. Okay. Now I will take double click on this one. Change this one to blue. Done. Now what I will do, I will select all of these. And then group them, make them smaller. Move them here. So if you want to write what are these pins for, so I think there should be, let's ungroup this, there should be uh, Let's select this, 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 and this. this. Oops. There should be more gap down here so that you have enough uh, space to write down. Also, these I will move here. Okay. Now we can make a, a gap here to create a sort of a, uh, you can say, uh, like socket for like for the power socket. So I will go again to my uh, clay tool, okay, make it black, make it smaller, and I will make a new layer, press spacebar, okay, and spacebar, now I will change it to capsule, Okay, rotate to this side, basically. So over here. And kind of move white. And spacebar. 
So once this is done, what I will do here is that I will simply uh, take this put this here somewhere maybe a bit bigger in the center and here I click on it boolean and subtract mode apply and let's wait now done. Or I will do the one that I just boolean. I will take it out from this side. So I think instead of moving them or working on these part, it will be not that ideal. So what I will do here is that I will go to my uh, eraser tool, take cylinder here, okay, and then move it outwards over here. Change its size. Subtract it. Okay, uh, there is thickness. Reduce the thickness. Subtract this, okay, and then I will move to this part to subtract this. So now, as I have uh, erased this, I will go to my uh, capsule here, okay, and resets its orientation, resets its settings here, and bring it down. First of all, I will right click on it, make a, a link of it so that uh, I can have two versions of, of, of this. Okay, first uh, link can be only done when uh, once it is applied, not right now. So I will first move this down. Okay. Uh, oops, make it smaller. Longer. Move it back. And then I will make a new layer, press spacebar, then move this here. Let's make sure this is in the center. Spacebar. Okay. Now I have I will make sure that uh, this, this, like uh, with the shift key I will select these. Okay. As well as this. Uh, and press F key to focus on this whole thing. And once they are selected, I will merge them. So I will click on the merge. It will take time. So now, as you can see, it is merged. Okay. So they have become one object you can see from here. Okay, so now they look fine. Let's save this. And now the only thing that is left is the side knob. So what I will do is that I will just go take the clay tool, okay. Reset uh, its orientation, click it twice. Then uh, cylinder, click it twice. Move it outwards here. I'll press Shift key, oh sorry, Control key and click on it to make it bigger. And then like, uh, sorry, to make it uh, like to fast rotate it and then I will make it bigger. And I will make sure it sits in the center of this gap that we created. And then we will uh, apply whatever effect we want on it but first we have to make sure it sits in the center here so 
go a little bit bigger. Okay, once this is done, I'll move this out. Make it a little wider. Okay. Apply a champ or like a chamfer to it. Bit of a fillet, not too much. Yeah. And here. Once this is done, what I will do here is that I will make a new layer. Okay. And make this black instead of gray. Spacebar. And then I will take my erase uh eraser tools. Okay. Make it bigger. And start erasing this half of it because I don't want this to be chamfered and uh, like chamfered from the like this end then i will go back to my eraser tool and uh, to, uh, like remove the chamfer from it only the fillet i will keep it and uh, make it smaller move it here okay change its color to little dark gray not too much and then press space bar okay so this will become the end of it and now what i will do here is that i will take the this and rotate it temporarily so i can uh play with the like symmetry on it okay so i will go back here eraser tool and then i have uh, Reduce the size. Oops. Raise the size. Yeah. Right click on it. And symmetry and radial symmetry. Okay. Move it outwards. And instead of uh, cylinders, I will make it cubes. And this time the cube will be thinner. And I will move it down. Move it outside. Also, I will make them same color of this. I'll pick the color picker. Okay. More outwards. Bent. Something like a dollar like this. And once I'm done with this part, I can start increasing the like uh, its roundness and also its fillet. Okay. And once this is done, what I can do is that I can just simply move it uh, in this direction. Right click on it, start increasing its. Uh, like uh what you call the number like like the number of counts of this uh the uh, like radial symmetry okay this much is fine i will move it in not too much something as this and once this is done I will press uh, base bar and then I can again rotate it by pressing control fast rotate but before doing any other thing what I will do here is that <coughs> I will sorry I will go to my uh, radial uh, sorry my clay tool take the cylinder again right click on it or uh, no symmetry okay click on it again and then uh, reset its position okay give it a little thickness make it more bigger and apply taper 
at one end. Okay. So once I will apply the taper, I will fast rotate it to this side. Okay. And also increase this. Once this is done, let's move this out of it. Something like this. Once this is done, I will go to my Erase tool. Okay. And I first let, let's move it here. Something like this. I will press space bar. When it's done, so you can see. Oops. No, the result is not that good. So, again, Erase tool. Let's see. Outward, something like this. And increase the size of it. Let's go to uh, the clay tool just to see how it is working the, the taper. And then I can move. Yeah, the taper have to go like this. Now I will go back here. Okay, then I will play thickness. Now let's try. Okay, not bad. Okay, so this is uh, what kind of, uh, like a kind of result uh, I was looking for. Okay, because I don't want it to be, uh, the whole effect to be applied on, so only on the edges like this. And then I will move it down here. Just like this. Okay, so I have this knob on the side. So I hope uh, it is now clear how we can uh, merge different objects and how we can do the intersection uh, and subtraction using different methods. Okay. And next lesson we will learn uh, about how to create a handle okay because uh, usually in uh, uh, your uh, like old retro 80s boom boxes usually have handles because you uh, people used to carry them they don't used to have uh, mp3 player that that time so this was the only thing that could that could like they could they could carry along with them if you find my videos interesting and useful, then please click the like button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my new tutorials and courses. If you are watching my videos and have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe it now and share it with your friends so they can also subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord and Amazon.com. The links are given in the description below. In the end, I would like to request that please watch my videos online and do not download them because this will affect my watch time hours, which is quite demotivating for me. And uh, if you want me to create, continuously create these new courses, so please subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos online. Also like them and share them. So everyone take care, stay connected and see you in the next class.